Okay, so we're back. Part two. Uh, autofocus seems to be working again. Uh, as I was saying, the battery protection circuit is hiding just here. It goes up vertically into the hill. Uh, the power supply is a 18650 battery that sits just about here, right below the switches. You got your TNC saber and all your wires routed here. Then your speaker and recharge port. The speaker is um, a bit of a change from the overall intended design. This guy is supposed to take a 22, no, a 20 millimeter Vico base speaker, um, and it's supposed to sit in this section inside of it, facing up. But that just was not a design that really lended itself to a good sound for the saber. So I went with a slightly bigger speaker. It's a 24 millimeter. Um, and rather than mounting it facing up, I mounted it flipped around solar barrack style facing down. Um, and the point of doing that is that now you have your sound, your sound waves and your frequencies shooting out the bottom, which means that they have an unimpeded trip from the speaker right through this vented section here right out the vented section on the bottom of the pommel, so you have much better, loud, uh, louder, less interfered with um, flow for the, uh, for the speaker and the audio. If it were facing the other way, you would be going, instead of an inch and a half, you would be going seven inches, eight inches, and there is nothing hollow or vented about any of this. So most of the audio, most of the sound would actually get lost. So facing it this way, actually, um, takes care of that issue and sounds significantly better. Just going with a slightly bigger speaker, you get better bass response and better frequency response, which is nice, but you can, the 20 millimeter speaker does sound just fine in this. I would still nonetheless aim it south instead of north. Um, then we have, like I said, recharge port is here. It's a standard 2.1 millimeter switchcraft. Um, most sabers these days are using the 1.3 millimeter because it's just easier to fit a smaller bit in there, but this guy's standard and as simple as that to access your USB and your SD card this part is over. and simple as removing that bottom bit to access your recharge port. You don't even have to take the uh, pommel apart or the uh, hilt apart and then st stick that guy back in there. Twist it to kill it, and she is off. Twist again to activate. And you're good. So the idea here is to make something really intuitive and easy to use with the minimal amount of fuss, but also something that when you want it to be off, it's going to be off and you're not going to have to worry about battery drain or having anything turn on by mistake, he says as he turns it on by mistake. But simple as a twist of the kill key. Um, so that's about it. Julian, let me know your thoughts after you've had a chance to watch this video. Um, thank you to Dimitri Stock for the excellent blade connectors, uh, Goth 3Designs for the excellent chassis, 89 Sabres for the excellent hilt, and Frederick, of course, for the kick-ass electronics. Uh, if you guys have any questions, as usual, don't hesitate to ask. And Julian, let me know what you think when you have a chance to check it out. Um, changes, whatever you want to do, we can do. Um, but I think it's I think it's just about perfect. Thanks for watching, guys.